2016, we've been continuing to add more clinics. We did a big push to the South Dakota Dental Association members uh, to increase our uh, recruitment efforts. I went to several different um, district board meetings, had the opportunity to get our word out there, and from those efforts we had potentially 10 individuals sign up. So that was a good success, success story. Uh, we found that we needed different ways to market ourselves, particularly to our South Dakota providers. So that's good information that uh, we got. Probably our biggest um, event this year was having the president of the American Dental Association come here in July. Uh, she was here for just one quick day, but we had the opportunity to talk to her about our needs, our desires, what we're doing here within the clinic, and they put an article together that went out on a national publication with the American Dental Association newsletter. And from that, we've already had 10 individuals out of state sign up to come and volunteer. Uh, a gentleman from Long Island, New York, three gentlemen from Washington State, a dentist from Kentucky, um, are just to name a few of them, and numerous hygienists uh, from out of state have also made contact with us. So that was really a big event for us to get us out on a national level. Um, other than that, we're significantly increasing our number of clinics. We potentially wanted to do one week per month, and we've more than exceeded that. There are months, typically um, in the late winter, early spring, that nobody signs up for, and uh, always one month in the fall. But it's made up for itself because in October we have four clinics active. Um, September we will have had three for the month of September so even though we're not hitting our goal of one week per month being open as a general rule we're actually having more clinics than what we projected to have uh, initially. Uh, one other event that is coming up that was secured this summer University of Indiana has come two years in a row now. Uh, this summer session they are actually going to be here for two full weeks instead of just one week. So that, that'll significantly increase our efforts as well. Rosebud Dental Days is a challenge of getting our South Dakota providers here. I mean, that was one of our pushes for the spring to increase that. But we did host um, the Delta Dental Mobile bus. We actually paid the bus to be here $2,500 for the week. Um, they had a hundred percent of the patients that we scheduled show up for them and I think they were a little overwhelmed because halfway through the day they gave us the impression that we had over scheduled them and I said absolutely not you wanted two every 15 minutes that's what you got but this was the only place within the state of South Dakota that they had a hundred percent of the people scheduled actually show so that is a huge success on our parts here at the mission that we have, our patients have that much confidence in us, respect for us to show up. And even that morning we had nine people cancel and we had them booked before the bus ever showed up. So we, we really go above and beyond to make sure our chairs are full.